after climbing for most of this year, even to unprecedented levels, inflation seems to have stopped getting worse, at least for November. Annual headline inflation for November dropped slightly from 30.4% in October to 29% in November. Annual core inflation also dropped from 30.8% in October to 30.6% in November. Evidently, prices are still high. We are turning the corner. Because even when you look at the movements from the inflation of, of September to October, it rose but at a decreasing speed. Foods like matok and sweet potatoes, including paraffin, helped ease the pressure. Some attribute the halt to inflation growth on the strengthening of the shilling due to monetary policy. The rise in the interest rates is partly responsible for the appreciation of the shilling. Is making the inflationary pressures subside. The danger, however, lies in the fact that general inflation outside food, for instance, for services, continue to grow. To illustrate, if the price of making your hair or cutting your hair or paying your plumber and mechanic goes up, if it persists, it's hard to change going forward. There lies the danger of making high prices stick in the economy. The inflation numbers show that general prices are just very slightly slowing down. The truth, though, is that you will most likely not continue paying higher than you are paying now for goods and services. But don't say yet, because no one knows what the festive season will bring. Uncertainty still exists, made worse by the unrelenting rainfall that disrupts food supply. Samo Zetumba, NTV, Business.